And of course, of course, I'm looking for a wheel and there is no wheel. Some days like today, there's not going to really be much happening. Well, hello, rabbit. This is the second rabbit I've seen today. He just desync. He's just going to sit in the middle of the road. Be careful, bunny. I don't really have to be worried about making fires in the middle of fields on this game because on this server because obviously people can't shoot me on sight. Maybe if I'm even lucky though because I'm lost I might find a vehicle randomly. That'd be cool. No, I don't want to follow that road because it's a dirt road. Dirt roads don't lead anywhere. Well they might do but I'm not I'm not sure. Fucking hell. I don't even know why I bother. See that's why I just run across the road. Man in the truck. Man in the truck. Come back. Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Zero Hero today. We are on episode 32, the final episode of Zero Hero. And today, it's fucking dark. Hello guys, uh, let me just try and get my light on. Uh, I did have a flashlight in my hand at some point. Yes I do, right, let's have a look. Can I, can I turn it on? Come on, don't say you broke the bulb. God's sake. Okay, apparently it's lighting up stuff above me. That's clever. Very clever. Um, hang on. Let me just change back to the flashlight. <laughs> this is so smooth. So smooth. Okay, let's go. No! No! What the fuck is going on? It's lighting up stuff around me, but not in front of me. Okay. Right. There we go. Right now we can change back to the flashlight. And hopefully, I turn the light on. There we go. Right. Okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is going to be a terrible episode. I can't see where the fuck I'm going. Anyway, it's a bit scary, actually. I have looked at a map since, so I do know where I am, which is just as well, because you guys would have been like, what the fuck, man? Why are you last? But this is going to be creepy as hell without, well, just running along. Look at this. Look. Running along with a torch does not work. This torch is bloody powerful, though. Look at that. Jesus. kind of lights up the area. Not very well. I haven't really ever done an episode. Oh shit, zombie. With a <laughs> with a flashlight before. And it's pretty crazy. It look it looks scary as fuck and I'm I, I swear I'm gonna get killed. Let's have a look in this building. There's no like no lights anywhere, so sorry if you can't see shit. There is just about something here. A macro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Something happened when I I removed my PDW and put it in my backpack and accidentally destroyed it. So I no longer have a PDW, which is which is great. Um, so that adds to the list of things I need, which is notably a pistol. Oh god, I'm gonna get some road flares because oh my life, I hate this torch. It's horrible. It's the same problem that I had in War Z, where the the torch light just goes really small. So I'm just gonna float throw <laughs> some flares around that's more like it now we can sort of see what's going on anyway I'm looking for this this road here I've got to follow this one up all the way to the next major road and then oh god <laughs> Follow this road up. I'm gonna lose this road, so I'm just gonna stand on it. Don't ask me why. Wow, this is scary. <laughs> it's scary as fuck. It's like because of the flashing light. It's like really fucking creepy. Do I have a light on my M or A1 C A3 CCO? I do, don't I? I think I do. Anyway, this is really fucking scary. I'm actually scared right now. I am still following the road. Okay, so all you're going to see throughout this whole entire episode is flashing lights. So if you are epileptic, look away now. I'm just going to be running down this road, pretty much. Until I can lose these zombies. Because, honestly, they're going to be right behind me, aren't they? 
shit. Oh god, this is fucked up. God damn you. Stay on the road. I'm gonna get into this this pine tree here. You can't hit me in here. Right, I'm gonna change to my M4A1 CCO and hope to god it has a light on it. I don't think it does. Um, okay. Hello zombies. Please walk away. Please leave the building. This is scary. Fucking intense. Now, I can see why people don't really play at night. The reason I am playing at night, you're probably thinking, it's never been night in one of your episodes. No, it hasn't actually. And that's purely because it never used to go night on the server and... Well, they changed it recently, and now it does. So, yeah. Now it does. And it's going to fuck me up. I'm going to have to be really careful once I get to Berezino, which is where I'm heading. This r little dirt road that you can see to my left through the flashing light is basically leading to a main road which will take me to Barazino. that's basically the idea hopefully I'll be able to get a lift or something because maybe somebody will see the light from my torch who knows but anyway I, I really need a lift or something to get somewhere because this is going to be a crazy episode otherwise I so wish I had night vision right now because I think they've actually taken down their second server the daisy rp guys and they've only got one at the moment and it's actually no people on the server. I think it was like seven people when I logged in, so don't expect me to be bumping into anyone anytime soon. Obviously at night it's kind of easier to bump into people because there's not m much else to see other than people's lights. And especially with me like flashing this one about. But we're going to head down this road now. See this is the road I was coming up to that I was talking about. Now we can head down this road. There will be tractors! And... Yeah, the phantom tractor will probably come run me over. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run on the, on the right side of the road again. Because the, the flashlight flashes on the left side of the road so I can kind of see the road on and off. And I know this isn't the greatest viewing, I'm very sorry guys. But there is nothing else I could do. The only, this is the only recording time I could really, I could really do. So I'm really sorry about that. But it just seems to be the case. And yeah, there's not much I can really do about it. So I'm just going to continue running down this road. Sorry, but it's just the way it is. When we get to Berezino, hopefully, I can find a map and compass. And I can also find night vision. But I doubt that's going to happen, to be quite honest. So yeah, all good. So, what next? Well, once we get to Berezino, I'll be looting that area to try and find a map and compass. But basically, this is the last episode of Zero to Hero, and I know it's not going to be an insane one because obviously, with, with me running around with the torch, it's not the most ideal last episode. But, you know, it's it's quite crazy actually. I've never actually tried it, and it's it's mental. It's really shit scary and zombies are really fucking hard to see or kill. I think now would be a good time to try out the CCO weapon. Hi. <laughs> Please God, have a light. No, I think it's the M4A3 that has a, has a light on it. Well, just as well. But I did take the splash light out then. That means my PDW wasn't a waste after all. It's annoying though, I like that gun. The Uzi's awesome and I now lost it. <laughs> Still have a sniper though, and this main gun that I have at the moment, the M4A1. But hopefully we'll get somewhere soon. I can't guarantee that I will honestly get anywhere in this episode. But if I've calculated this correctly, I should be there soon. But we shall see. It's never as simple as it sounds. 
And me running in the dark, well, I might actually turn up my contrast a bit. See what's going on there. Because then you might, you guys might be able to see something a bit better when it comes out on, on rendering. So let's do that. Uh, brightness. Not go too much. And gamma. And if we go to advanced. HDR quality, very high. Let's have a look, shall we? There we go, we can kind of see stuff now. You can kind of see stuff a bit better. At least you can sort of see the outline of my character now. But the rain is really fucking contrasted in my face, which is which is not cool. Uh, let's have a look. I'll, I'll change it a bit more. Put it up a bit more. This is what you do, guys, if uh, you're ever stuck at night. Literally, just put the gamma and brightness up, put the HDR quality to, to high. And um, yeah, should be good to go. It's not great for recording, obviously, because you guys are going to just see white streams of light flying down your screen. But, you know, it makes things easier to see in the, in the long run. And there are zombies over here. And this is, I believe, one of the, the places outside Berezino. So we have come to Berezino, I think. Don't quote me on that, because it could well not be. Anyway, I'm going to try and get in this building here. See what's going on. Anything in here? I hear shooting. Get up into these stairs. It's quite scary. I, I, I'm actually quite enjoying this. I should play it in the dark more often. It actually provides some sort of challenge. Because obviously zombies in the daylight aren't, aren't exactly the most scary things ever. I don't do enough episodes in the dark. I did do one once when I had when I had uh, night vision goggles. But honestly, it's not it's not great. The night vision goggles are horrible because they're really green and they make everything green. So all you're watching for the entire game, well for the entire video, is just some green screen. And yeah, it's all right, but it's it's I, I honestly can't imagine watching that for ages. Whereas this is a bit better, I guess. It's just it's not it's not ideal. I know there is another zombie there though. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Oh shit! Zombie right next to me. <laughs> just uh, shine the torch on him. Hello! I don't know if the torch makes you more visible because at the moment shit can't see me. Oh, hello. Don't come towards me. I'm just going to move this way very slowly. I don't really want to aggro zombies at night, especially in a city. That would not end well. I want to get up onto where that that guy's going onto that greenhouse up there. Those doorsteps are likely to have maps. This is quite quite intense. Zombie behind me decides to turn round. It's like I don't like that light being shin. Whoa! Where did that zombie go? Hmm. Okay. Not cool. I'm quite scared. Please don't glitch. Oh dear. Right. There is nothing on this doorstep. Wonderful. Any other doorsteps to check? I think this one next to me. Maybe. Yep, this doorstep should have something maybe. Nope, nothing there either. God damn it. Okay, well, oh, let's not walk into a wall. Across the road. Can I loot that building on the right? Yes, I can. Okay, let's get past the zombie. 
Zombies are so threatening at night because obviously this, this flashlight isn't a weapon. I can't use it to attack them. Wow, fuck me. That scared the crap out of me. Get in this house so I can see shit. Get the gun out. I don't have a sidearm, so this is just going to have to go loud. And we shoot this zombie as he comes in. Leave me alone! Oh, dear lord. This is scary shit. Oh, bloody hell. I'm, I'm, I'm on the verge of crying right now, guys. <laughs> I know that. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. I didn't even realise. Fuck. I need myself. Shit. Oh yeah, guys, also, sorry if you can hear the building site outside again. Uh, that was really shit before. But hopefully it won't be too bad. Right, this guy had the be baked beans on him. Let's let's eat some food and take that. No, baked beans. Baked beans are better than pasta anyway. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a flare. Why not? Towards where I'm heading. Lit up the area. Cool. Let's go. Don't get too close to the flare though. Because otherwise, I'll blind you guys completely. Because of the brightness is really high at the moment. But you can see all the zombies. Look at them. There's a couple of zombies over there. A couple of zombies over there. This is really nice actually. The, the flashlight kind of thing. Because I can kind of point to where I'm looking. Because obviously for me, I'm using my peripheral vision all the time to look around. So sometimes I'll talk about stuff and you'll be like, where the fuck is he talking about? Because you can't see it. But I'm looking somewhere completely different to you. So, you know, there is that sometimes. Oh, fuck me. Okay. So, go past you. Do they get attracted to light now? They still seem to be wandering towards that flare. Like, ooh, walk towards the light. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, this is definitely Berezina. Look, you can see all the houses now. So it looks like we made it to where I had planned. Now it's just a matter of finding stuff. Which is uh, always easier said than done. But there we go. Let's have a look, shall we? Right. Not much to really see. Need to find lootable buildings. So the next episode guys will be, well won't it be for this series, there won't be another episode after this. There will be obviously the two parts as usual, but basically what's going to happen is the Saturday will be my Bandit series, I think, and the Sunday will be the Hero series, maybe the other way around. But basically the new ones will be Highlight Real style, I will be keeping in a lot of the, the random sort of encounters oh hello m1911 could come in useful let's drop out this stuff pick up the gun and um, then I can put the m1911 mags in the tool in the belt Here we go so I have got a sidearm now which is useful keep the noise down um, but yeah so Bandit either on Saturday or Sunday it may change it around, may do Hero on Saturday and Bandit on Sunday, I guess it doesn't really matter. Both be coming out in the end. Hopefully my channel will be redesigned by then and I have a new intro. If not, then I'll probably be re redesigning it halfway through the series or something, which would be kind of annoying. So I'll try and get that done. But it's uh, it's quite a, 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 a large task for me because I'm not the best at making intros and well my channel needs a redesign I can do that on Photoshop quite easily but it's just a matter of of really getting it done and it take, does take a lot of time so with that along with filming the other episodes it's, it's going to take its time so please bear with me anyway I just checked a doorstep which doesn't even have loot on it I don't even know why I did that, because I can't identify houses that have loot and don't. There's a hospital over there, so that could be handy. So yeah, I am lost in Berezino. 
Still, all very scary. Not many zombies about actually in the center of Berezino though. Which is, um, I guess a good thing. It would be kind of cool if I had stuff to dodge. But I'm not going to complain. So, <laughs> there we go. Right, let's have a look in this this back, back building here. I'm actually probably just going to light up this this uh, supermarket over here. So if I get some flares out, chuck one. Then that will light up the uh, supermarket for me, making it a hundred times easier to loot. I can actually see what's on the ground. Crowbar in there. Zombie up the road. And I am having to be very sneaky now. Just so I can't aggro zombies. Right, there's nothing in that tent. Have a look. What is this? Please be something useful. A map! Huzzah! We found a map. Okay, well, that's good. I've also aggroed a zombie. That's not so good. Um, I'm going to just get the M4A1 CCO out. Shoot this mofo in the head. Shit, I missed. That wasn't clever. Okay, right. Is he, is he going out? He didn't like being shot at, it seems. Okay, well that's alright. And we can move on to finding a compass, that's the next thing I need. These uh, zombies are coming round and they are going to aggro, it seems. Let's eat this food, pick up more sardines. Stay away from the wall so they don't glitch through it. And well, there's a hunting knife, but we don't really need that, unfortunately. Nope, no need that. We do need more ammo for the M1911, but there's no point in me really carrying it while it's in my backpack. So I'm not even using it at the moment. I've got a, I've got a gun and I've got a sniper rifle and a pistol in my backpack. So, <laughs> you know. Oh dear. Troubles with having to use a flashlight. The reason I'm just eating this, guys, is, is purely to get some blood back, which I lost earlier from being hit. Also, it'll help the, uh, the screen be a bit more lit up, which would be nice for you guys. So you can actually see what's going on. So another watch. I don't need a watch. I need a compass. God damn it. Another map. Oh, for God's sake. This will be a uh, another watch. <laughs> Shit me. Okay, well there's more food here, let's keep eating. Let's get really fat on beans and stuff. I probably don't need much more. So I'm just going to leave that. It's crazy how that flare can, can light up the inside of a building through a wall. That's, that's quite clever. It's quite clever really. And I'm not going to complain. 